the game is watching. I love you very much, Amy. I want you home desperately, Amy. I miss you very much, Amy. Very much. This is a terribly painful day for Amy's mother, father, and older brother. But the family invited me into their home this weekend to send a heartfelt message to the girl they love. Oh, happy birthday. We miss you. Come home. It's very difficult to have a birthday party without the birthday girl. For now, the family has photographs to remind them of birthday parties in the past. In this picture taken just a few months ago, Amy celebrates her best friend's birthday. Today, that friend sends a message to the missing birthday girl, wherever she may be. Happy birthday, Amy, and I hope you're still alive, and I hope you can hear me, and I hope you come home soon. Amy's babysitter is keeping hope alive with a private candlelight vigil. We've um, kept a candle burning in the window. 24 hours a day, six weeks, <laughs> seven days a week. I'd like her to give us her birthday present by coming home. Amy's riding instructor brought out Amy's favorite horse and shared a birthday greeting of hope to the girl she calls Pee Wee. There hopefully will be better ones to come. And Razzle and I are waiting for her. And hopefully she can be with Razzle on her next birthday. Oh, it's painful. For Amy's family, normal life has been put on hold. Signs of change are everywhere in the house. Missing children's brochures on the floor, a coffee table filled with remembrances. Posters and huge cards have taken over the living room. In the den, a burning candle illuminates their loved one's photograph. Birthday presents are stacked on the mantel, waiting. For the past 45 days, Amy's family has lived with an almost unbearable uncertainty. There's no rationale to it with an illness or an accident. In some way, part of your mind can deal with it in something like this. You can't. You just keep saying, why? What's happening? Why? Where is she? Why? There's nothing that you can work through and get over. It's just continuing. In the absence of any evidence to the contrary, Amy's family and friends believe that one day, Amy will return to them. I would hope that uh, if she's listening, that uh, she keeps the keeps her spirit and keeps her faith because that's what's going to get everybody through this, Amy, is uh, keep your spirit because we're going to get you.